God said? The scripture says in Psalms, is it your word, O God? Your word, O God, is true. Your word is pure. Your word, then he says, is settled in heaven. Then God said concerning his word, he says, my word is tried the way you try gold in the fire. And he said, I perfect my word. Before I say a word, my word is tried seven times. That means before God says anything, before his word comes out, that word is tried seven times. So every word that God speaks is perfect. Now this perfect word became flesh. Who is here with me? It says, and the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. Whoa. This perfect word of God took upon itself flesh. The word became incarnate. The word of God became flesh. Then it says, and dwelled among us. Then look at this. And we beheld his doxa. Oh, you didn't get what I just said. And we beheld his doxa. We beheld his glory. Who is talking here? John. We beheld his glory. What does it mean? We, we looked at him and we thought, what manner of man is this? Do you know what it was like meeting Jesus? Do you know what it was like meeting him? Tell you some story. One time, he had gone for baptism. And when he came, his cousin, who was John, was baptizing people. But God had told John that the Messiah, I will give you a sign for the Messiah. He said, the one that you see the Spirit alight upon, that one is the Messiah. And as Jesus was coming, John saw in the Spirit that this is the Messiah. And he declared, and he says, behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And he came, Jesus came to be baptized. John said, no, I should not be baptized. I should not baptize you. I should be baptized by you. And Jesus said, no, no. Let's fulfill what? All righteousness. Let's fulfill all righteousness. Suffer these to be so now. Let this be this way now. Why? Because we want to fulfill all righteousness. The word of God is perfect. The word of God is perfect. Do you know why? What is the righteousness that Jesus wanted to fulfill? Because Jesus needed to be our high priest. But Jesus didn't have the right standing to be a high priest. Because Jesus was born out of the tribe of Judah. And in the tribe of Judah, the Bible says that the scepter shall not depart from Judah. That means he had the right to be king. But not from Levi. Because the high priest was supposed to come from Levi. So he needed contact with someone who was of the house of Levi. When John the Baptist, you know, you can imagine, you can imagine. Because John knew that this was God. John knew that this was not just a, another human person. John knew that this is the Messiah. This is God in flesh. So you can imagine how he was trembling, putting his hands on him. But as John laid his hands on him, he transferred. He transferred. That authority, that power, that right to be a priest. The Bible tells us that Jesus became a priest after the order of Melchizedek. After the order of Melchizedek, without origin, just like Melchizedek. Not like the priesthood of Aaron, but his priesthood was different. Jesus came out of that water, the Holy Spirit alighted on him, just the way a dove will alight. And he was filled with the Spirit. That day, John the Baptist lost some disciples. Did you hear what I just said? Because men that had been following John the Baptist, like Peter, James, John, that had been in his church, when they saw Jesus, they said, this is, this is where we need to move. And they said, John, we have moved. <laughs> 